Hi, I'm John White from the Cancer Clinic in New Zealand. I'm going to explain in this video waveforms. As we left it on channel 3, if we run it, we can see we're running square waveforms on both output 1 and output 2. To do any changes, you need to stop the, the channel. Here we can see the square waveform has been selected for channel 1. Channel 2 has been set to follow output 1. So this means if we select sinusoidal waveform, you can see sine wave has come up there on output 1, and that's the one that it will run with. OK, now we can also choose sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, which is the ideal one for remote treatments or local, triangular, damped waveforms, the new Spooky2 H-bomb, um, of these waveforms, the two most exciting ones are the ones at the bottom. I'll choose this damped waveform, sinusoidal. This column here is selecting how many cycles are for each frequency period. So for these waveforms, it's generally one. So generally, I'd leave that at one. The damped waveform is made up of a whole series of sinusoidal waveforms. Here I've selected 12 cycles for each frequency. So um, 12 frequency cycles are between here and here. Going to here, we're going to start it up and we're running in the damp waveform. The frequency is 360 showing the same but the fr the Frequency will appear slower because the 360 hertz is between here and here. Okay, stop that. If I choose a different output for channel 2, I'll choose square output. And you'll see here now that the output is square. Okay, so start that and then we're showing that the uh, the waveforms are different for the two channels okay now the square damped waveform is very good for applying the CAFL or the lower frequencies but still utilizing the power of a damped waveform it's the same as the sinusoidal but each individual wave cycle in here is square the H-bomb is a very powerful waveform it applies an immediate spike, which disables MORs, gives the resonant lower frequency cycles here, and then another spike at the end. And then it gives a rest period. And uh, it's very, very powerful, and it's good to experiment with this. Okay, well, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Thank you for watching.